y'all what is up welcome to another sims 4 speed build i am building a library as you can see this is actually the first library that i've ever built in the sims and i didn't really know exactly what i wanted to do usually with my builds i just start building and then i go from there i don't really plan any of my builds out i mean i don't know if anybody does that i mean i just always start building and then just see what happens I did change a lot of things up as I was building I wanted to make it more of a modern library because you don't really see modern libraries I don't know I'm sure there's modern libraries in the gallery but usually libraries are just like the old old time type things I don't know what the opposite of modern is but um yeah usually I do parking lots in all of my builds and or not all of my builds usually in the community lots because it makes it more more realistic I guess I guess that's how you can put it but I mean a lot of times I will do if, the, if I have a lot of space in my home lots that I make I'll do a driveway if I need to fill up that but I don't really like my houses too big unless you know I'm in the get famous part and I'm trying to be famous but um yeah I wanted to put in a playground for this because you know some kids need to burn off some energy before they go inside of a library because it's supposed to be people pe people <laughs> peaceful and quiet so yeah and I like putting fountains in my community lots because it's just it just makes it really cute and pretty but um for the roof as you you will see in like a few seconds but there's not really any signs to put up for libraries on the roof and I like to put signs up there so I was going through all of the statues see what I could put and then I saw the books the stack books and then I just made them a little bit bigger right here you don't see it yep right here and then I grabbed one of the statues and I thought that looked like one of those um, things that you put at the end of books that are so they don't slide over slide down and so I thought that I'd put that on top of the books and I was actually really happy with that and I was proud of it um okay so for the bathrooms <laughs> I don't even know what bathrooms look like inside of a library because I don't remember ever using a bathroom in the library. Um, I haven't been to one in a long time, in years, and I just wanted to make two bathrooms, gender neutral, like it doesn't matter, you can just go in either one, and I wanted them pretty similar so I ended up just mirroring them, mirroring, mirroring, mirroring them. So that it just, so they didn't look exactly the same, but they were exactly the same, just like mirrored. If that makes any sense. And I wanted to change the colors a little bit. So for the candles, I did one like tannish, orangeish, and then the same with the couches. I wanted them to kind of match the candles or the rugs. I don't know. I just, I just went along with it, old guy. <laughs> but um, okay, so. For the bookshelves, so that's why I didn't really make it a modern library is because of the bookshelves. I couldn't really find, yeah, like right here, I'm trying to figure out what bookshelf to use and I was trying to find something that was more modern. There are modern bookshelves, but nothing that you would put in a library, so, because like how these bookshelves have books on every single shelf and the modern ones, there's spaces where you could put items and I didn't want to put any items in there because come on it's a library and you're supposed to have books in every shelf okay <laughs> okay this is turning out to be a little weird and I don't want to start over but <laughs> um I ended up moving the uh the, that middle part I ended up moving the ends of the bookshelves from that middle part because I didn't really like it and this is kind of when I was struggling because I was like there's not really a whole 
or there's a lot of space and I don't know what to put in all that space. So once I put the pillows that Sims can sit on, once I put those pillows in there, I was like, oh, I should make this part a kids, a kids section because libraries have kids areas. And I'm like, hello, <laughs> don't forget about the kids. And so yeah, I ended up making this kids, a kids area. And I wanted it to look more neutral because I didn't want it to look more girly or more boyish. So I tried to do it a little bit more and like usually blue colors to me are more for boys but uh, it can also be used for girls because one of my favorite colors is blue because sky blue. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah so I just wanted to do some neutral colors in there and yeah and then I changed the coloring of each bookshelf to make it more more for both for girls and boys and then the rugs I don't, it's just not it's not really a kids rug so it's whatever I couldn't really find a rug that would go with that and then I had to double check that that university flooring wasn't carpet because I don't really like putting rugs over carpets and so yeah I, I just ended up throwing a rug in there just for the heck of it but um this area I I know that my editing is going really fast and I can't really talk about everything and I don't really have things to say about every single thing and I'm new to <laughs> doing this whole talking about my stuff because usually I'm used to just doing it all on my own so right here is the where I put the archive machines because actually the whole reason I'm doing this build is because the sim that I'm playing right now is in the education career and she needs an archive machine and I don't want to keep traveling to Brychester because obviously I already graduated and I don't want to keep going back to my university town I want to get away from that area so I don't want to keep tri traveling to that library just to go on the archive machine and a lot of times well not really anymore but I used to just download from the gallery all the all of the community lots and I, since I'm doing this channel now, I can start just doing the build and then doing a video on it. So <laughs> that's why I decided to do this in a video. And um, I'm just adding adding some decorations. Have to get that those fish tanks in there because what's a library without a fish tank? I'm just kidding. I've never been to a library that has a fish tank. But just getting the decorations on the the desks because I mean usually to be realistic there wouldn't be that stuff on the desk they would just be empty and then you could put your books on there but I ended up forgetting to add to put this lot as a residential lot for a library so I had to check to see what I was missing and as you saw before I had to quit I ended up changing it to a library and yeah, I noticed that I, ha I was missing the chess tables and the trash cans. And so I just added those in really quick and there you have it. But anyways, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>